Hello, and welcome to me playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Um, I complete all five nights, so, um, without, it, without dying, so you don't have to worry about jump scares or anything like that. But I still thought it'd be kind of funny to do a horror game in ASMR. Um, I'm playing on my phone, as I do all of the games I play on my phone. You know, you kind of have to do everything with your thumbs on a on a tiny little screen, and yeah, the first night is so easy. You just have to listen to the phone guy yabber on forever. So you know, I'm just kind of fooling around here. Um, but yeah, I was really excited because I I've, I've done all five nights on my iPad, but I've never finished on my phone, and somehow. You know, by the grace of God, I finished it in one go, which is kind of crazy. Um, so yeah. I really like FNAF. Um, uh, this is my favorite game out of any of the games, as far as gameplay goes. It's probably this one. And then, I really love Ultimate Custom Night. I don't think I would ever play it. Um, I'm not huge into, like, the stress of it. I like this because it's very, like, rhythm. And if you can do a good rhythm, you can, like, beat it really easily. Um, yeah, I've never... I don't think I'd be very good at Ultimate Custom Night. Um, but I love watching Markiplier especially play it. And, yeah, it's really, like, satisfying when they finish it. And I have to do nothing. So that's really awesome. Um, anyways, yeah, like still, phone guy is like, yeah, burn on, and and I'm just sitting here waiting for to do people do anything, you know, waiting for the the threatening music to play. Um, I mostly I wanted to do this because sometimes I get really into the FNAF lore and the FNAF story, and I really like to like just consume any content on the internet I can find about FNAF. And I just always think that there should be more FNAF ASMR when I get, like, really passionate about something. Um, I like to, to consume ASMR content about it as well because then I can, like, be kind of satisfying that itch to consume the content. And I can also relax and then, you know, fall asleep, hopefully. So, I just figured maybe there's other people who feel the same and also, like, Ultimately, I like making the content that I want to make, you know, the content that I want to see, so that, that's why I'm doing it. Oh, you know what? We have to do our question of the upload. Um, I actually did not think about this. Maybe I'll just ask, like, what is your favorite FNAF game? Um, yeah, if, if you're into FNAF, you know, let me know, like, what your ranking, I think a lot of people have like a very, are very passionate about their ranking, and yeah, so night one is so easy, but as you can see, I'm, I'm getting into the rhythm of like, you know, clicking on the buttons so that I can like, when it like gets hard later on, I can, you know, like, just have that rhythm down, and it like really helps, because right now like, nothing is happening. But it can be really valuable to, like, get in the habit of, you know, when I turn off the camera, flip up the mask, shine the light in the hallway, check my vents. Later on, it's really hard to, like, listen. Because, like, right now, I could just listen and wait for, you know, oh, see, I could have just waited and listened and waited for, um, Toy Bonnie to, like, show up in the vents. Because you'll hear them, like, clamoring around. They'll clam around once when they enter, and then they'll clam around again. Yeah, already 4 a.m. and we've had no issues, so, um, really, I'm just kind of getting the rhythm down, and also, it's kind of boring. Night one is, like, really unbelievably slow. Night two kind of gets a little more fun, because Foxy's around, and Mangold, who is, like, always active, I feel like, so early. Like, there's, like, a chance that Mangold will be active, like, I think at the beginning of the night, 
so yeah very active very early and it's like just a little more fun and exciting um let me think here i have like 38 minutes to try and like think of things to say we're only on night one i need like oh look there's little toy freddy my favorite animatronic ever is lefty and then funtime freddy Withered Bonnie. Those are my top three. I don't know. Withered Bonnie and Funtime Freddy. I think I think it's in that order. I think Withered Bonnie is, is the third. But I just love Withered Bonnie. I've actually I've drawn Withered Bonnie. In like my sketchbook, I have like a little page of just Withered Bonnie. Oh, what a fun character to draw just because it's like just like the blackness and then like on like the um the face because and then you can just draw like two red dots and like funny little teeth and it's like a really cute cute little drawing but yeah i think withered bonnie is like creepy and interesting like unlike any other animatronic design like i think that's one problem with having so 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 many characters oh yeah we won woo Having so many characters, it's really hard to get original designs, especially when you're just having the same, you know, kind of four characters or five. No, it'd be more like four. Yeah, four characters used over and over and over and over again. I like, I think this game was really cool because like it took, you know, all the withered characters, especially withered Bonnie. And then also having Mangled, who, like, it's like Foxy, but like, cool, you know? A Mangle is a really also amazing design. I think this one, just absolutely phenomenal designs, oh my gosh. Um, and then Lefty's also so cool, because he, like, stores the marionette doll. So yeah, I just think, like, and then obviously Funtime Freddy and Bon Bon, like, they're so cute. And, um, I don't know if you guys have heard it, but there's, like, the song... Um, I think it's just called Run. I'm pretty sure it's by the Living Tombstone. They like make all the FNAF songs. But I really like it. And I really like singing the part where like, Hey Bon Bon, you know? It's so fun. Um, anyways. Um, what was I really saying? Oh, and I feel like you can really see the design sort of becoming really generic in, um, Security Breach. Because... In my opinion, I've said it once on the internet, and I'll say it again, Glamrock Freddy is just like if Rockstar Freddy went through puberty. Like, they look very similar. <laughs> and I know it's kind of to be expected, because like, they're kind of the same. You know, they're both Freddy. But like, show, ooh, look at us, we're like, you know, putting on a show, I guess. Um, I just, I don't know. I think out of the security breach, out of the main four, I like Monty best. Monty, like, brings something new to the table. There's, like, another lizard alligator dude in, um, I think it's just Ultimate Custom Night. Or, um, uh, what's it called? Pizzeria. But, like, Monty is like, I don't know, he, just, he brings something totally new. And I know Roxy kind of also does. But I think, like, I don't know what it is about Roxy, but I'm just not, like, a huge fan of, of Roxy. Anyways, I don't even know. But, yeah, I think it was just really that it was, it's very difficult to make original designs when you're kind of just, like, reusing the same characters for each and every game. But I really loved this game. I think it just... It took the FNAF um, game and it just amplified it by a hundred and you know there's so much more going on um, it, and there's like so many different cool characters and it just it made so much more lore and remember remember when everyone thought this happened after FNAF 1 oh my gosh 
and then theories started coming out and it just like uh, I love the FNAF lore I just think it's fun I like that you can make most of it up yourself you know like nothing's really set in stone or very few things are set in stone so yeah you can just like make a bunch of lore up pretty much connect the dots kind of thing with yourself and and I think that's kind of fun. I think that it's fun that the community gets to theorize together. Uh, let's see. So we're still on night two. Oh my gosh. 3 a.m. Um, I believe I mentioned this in not the last upload, but the upload before maybe? I don't remember. But I bought. I was at the thrift store. Saw like all of the short stories and poems from Edgar Allan Poe. Like it's this giant, thick book, and of course I bought it. Like obviously, and I really want to like work through it. In some world, I could finish it this month if I like really dedicated myself. I could 100% finish it. But, I don't know, I started reading this other book, because I finished the book, and then I was like, I was gonna go to, like, um, a store, and I wanted to read on the drive there, and I didn't want to bring the giant-ass Edgar Allan Poe complete collection, so I took another book off my shelf that I've been wanting to read, and it's really interesting. So now I'm kind of in a pickle, I want to finish that one. I guess I could read two books at once. That seems like a completely feasible thing. But I feel like I'm just pretty busy these days. I think, like, any time that I, like, can read, it's always, like, random little snippets. Um, and I also don't like to stress myself too much. Like, obviously, reading is a hobby, and it's just kind of something, you know, I do it for fun, and I do it to relax. But, um, sometimes I can, like, turn things into chores, and I don't want to do that with reading. I don't want to make it this, like, the only reason I'm reading is to check it off my to-do list, you know? So, personally, I gotta try and, like, find the balance to be really cliche and to be really, uh, I don't even know what cliche I think is the, the perfect word. Maybe pretentious. Oh, uh, yeah, to find the balance in life. But, you know, as cliche as it is, it is, it, it is rooted in truth, as most stereotypes are. Um, so yeah, I just gotta try and find that balance between not making reading, like, work. Because, you know, that's no fun. Um, oh, 5am? Let's see. I love how, like, fast I'm going for no reason. Like, I'm making it so stressful. And it's night, too. I think it's kind of funny. But, you know what? I mean, hey, this strategy carried me to the end. We finished all five nights in this video. Really crazy. I was so surprised. I was so stressed out. I figured my original plan was I thought I was gonna get jump scared for sure. At least like even on night four. Oh yeah, we did it. Night two done. Um, oh yeah, this is when like the creepy like, ooh hey Bonnie, hey Chica, how you doing? And you like turn around and you're like. Arr. And then it's me, but, okay, what was I even saying? <laughs> um, oh my goodness, I don't even remember. I'm waiting, like, really, let me think about this. Um, I have no idea. Oh, I remember. My original plan was that... If I got jump scared, when I got jump scared, because I was sure that I was going to, I would just like cut the jump scare out, so then you know you wouldn't get jump scared in the middle of the video. Because like, FNAF, although being horror, isn't really that scary. Um, like genuinely, it's not scary. Like it is stressful. I feel like at least FNAF too strictly, it is stressful, but like it's not scary. You know, like. Yeah, you're not sitting there like, 
I was sitting there like at some parts like on night four I was sitting there like oh my god but like it's less out of like fear and more out of like thrill of like stress <laughs> so anyways I was gonna like you know I still want this video to like be able to watch without like pissing your pants you know in bed um or like relaxing you know jump scares are kind of the opposite of relaxing so I figured I would cut out the jump scares and and then like yeah uh, but I didn't need to because I completed the whole game without dying once so now I don't have to cut out any jump scares because there's not a single one how cool is that um normally Foxy gets me like he's always the one to get me like it's normally like Bonnie will like come a withered Bonnie will like come and then I have to have my mask down but then the Marinette doll is like calling so I have to like quickly do that like I don't even think I got where it has like the little triangle and like the little exclamation point because you need to wind up the thing you know like genuinely I think it was pretty close to being done once like it was close to the end once but yeah I'm really surprised I honestly think they make your luck higher. Um, if, uh, what's like the word? Like I find it's easier if like the first time you're playing it in a while, like you open up the app and you play it, generally it's easy to play all the way through than if you die. And I don't know if there's some sort of algorithm that changes that. So you're more likely to die. And then when you like die more, it like, I don't know, not like makes it like continually more likely to die, but there might be something in that to like make you keep playing the game, you know? I genuinely don't know, but I always find it so much easier. Maybe, maybe I'm just not frustrated because once I die once, I'm like so frustrated. So maybe that's all I'm, who knows? But somehow, once again, by the grace of God, I did this. It's so difficult on your phone because my big fat thumbs are in the way constantly like even when i'm like looking in the little fence my thumb will block the way sometimes so i can't see and also if you're like turning to look at the vents you can normally like on the keyboard you press a button so then you can like look in the hallway i don't have that option so yeah definitely a little bit more tricky um but still a lot of fun and i had fun making this video and that's the whole point of filming i'm just so happy i'm so happy i get to film these videos and i get to sit here and whisper <laughs> to a microphone i think it's funny and i think it's fun and you know there's been a few really nice people who have been commenting um i wish i knew i wish i knew their usernames i feel like i gave them a little shout out but there's like this one really amazing person who makes Cookie Run Kingdom content and film my videos. Like I think my like third video I uploaded about Cookie Run Kingdom, they saw it. Which that video, by the way, is at like 200 views. So that's insane. Anyways, yeah. So they saw it on there and they commented and they've been commenting on most of my videos since. And I just think that's so wholesome. And then there was somebody two nights ago who commented on one of my videos and I commented back and then they commented a bunch of my videos and I'm just like, it's so wholesome. I just love it. I love it when people comment and I love when I get a comment back. And, oh man, it's just so cool. I'm really excited to get to build a community, which I know takes time, but, oh my goodness, like, it's like, I just feel it already, you know? And I just think that's so cool. Um, uh, so yeah.
kind of shifting. I filmed the audio in my closet because I think that like the sound is better, you know? Because there's like less background noise because I'm like in a closet and it's like a condensed area, you know? So I just know people when they film music, they do it in like their closet and that makes sense. So that's where I am, my closet. But I have a very cramped closet, which I guess is better for the audio, but worse for my back. I'm like leaning against my yoga mat and my neck is like craned over and my knees are to my chest. Um, it's, it's like comfy for like the first 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden I'm like, hmm, my tailbone. It exists, and I can feel it in my body. <laughs> Let's see, night 3, 5 a.m. Things are starting to get a little bit more interesting. Flipping on that mask on and off so fast. Ooh, hello, Withered Freddy. Hey there, Beth. Oh, okay. I cannot believe that scared me. That's so silly. There's something about not playing and watching that's a little bit more frightening. Like, look at Withered Bonnie, the way his eyes shine in the light. Kind of creepy. I think it'd be really cool if, like, on Halloween, I had, like, did, like, a Halloween week or something. Or every, like, or the whole month where every upload was, like, a creepy game. I don't know, I just think it's kind of fun. <gasps> Yay, 6 a.m. We're free. Look at the confetti. Woohoo! And then once again, you gotta like, with the creepy noises, and then you gotta like crane your head over, you know, with your, with your Freddy mask. so creepy they're looking right at us oh no it's gonna get us out <laughs> oh no the static night four let's go baby night four is when things start to hody down that's not a saying hody down that's not a saying but you know what i mean hody down so, well, I don't know what's called a music man. Well, 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 phone guy speaks. We press the wind up music box. What? Yeah, we just. <laughs> we press the music box. Um, speaking of music man, I mean, if I'm gonna mention music man, we might as well talk about music man. I love DJ Music Man. Oh my gosh, he is my favorite character in Security Breach. Monty is my favorite out of the main four. But out of all of the characters, it goes DJ Music Man, Sundrop, and then Monty. Oh, tied it with a bow, perfect ma ma ma. A thousand chef kisses, a thousand Italian hands. It's perfect. Um, I love DJ Music Man. Uh. <laughs> okay, 1 a.m., baby, let's go. Hello, Foxy. Look at me. Oh, Bloom Boy. Bloom Boy. Get out of my vents. Get out of my vents, Bloom Boy. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Hey, Foxy. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're well. Foxy's such a cutie. I really love the first FNAF game. Like, oh, it's just so good. And I love Foxy's little song where he goes, dum, 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 dum. So cute. And I love the way he like bangs his head on the door. Because he just like runs full force into the door and just like bangs his head on it. I think it's so funny.
why am I closing my mask? Oh, it must be blue boy. Or maybe I'm- no, it was, it was mangled. Uh, it'd be helpful if I could, like, hear what's happening, but it wouldn't be because I didn't mind, like, re pick up on the microphone, but... Yeah, because this game is all about hearing. Like, the way you have to rely on your ears. Sometimes when I'm really bored and I'm in the car, I'll play FNAF 2. You cannot hear anything. And it's like, how am I supposed to know when Balloon Boy is out of my fence? Because, yeah, like, you just, you can't know. Um, and also, Toy Chica as well. Like, Toy Chica doesn't jump or, like, go across your screen or anything. It's just you have to listen to the, the fence. Mangled is a little easier because they, like, stop making the static noise. And it's a little bit more obvious. Actually, it's a lot more obvious. But, yeah. I don't really play it often in the car. To be honest, I don't really play it a lot these days. But when I get in my FNAF phase, or, you know, passion about FNAF, I like to play it. And I especially like to play it with my friends. I'll stream it on Discord. Or I'll play with my little brother. And I find that's very fun. I'm nodding my head, like, kind of, like, back and forth just to, like, stretch my neck so then I don't get a neck cramp. Um, hopefully that doesn't make the audio really weird. Hopefully it does the opposite. Maybe it'll give it, like, a 3D effect, you know, where it's, like, I'm talking in one ear and then I'm talking in the other. I love when people do that. One day, I'll have a expensive microphone and I can do that. How cool would that be? I really want to make more like silly little role plays and I have ideas. I just find it a little bit harder to film because um, when I film these I can just like be in whatever I'm wearing. Like I don't need to do anything. I just literally will go in my closet and start doing the audio. But when I film like my role plays I like to at least look a little nice you know. It's just a little bit more tricky, but I really want to film another one because I find that they do a lot better, which is like really good because obviously I want to get my content out there so more people can see, so I can grow my community. But, um, yeah, it's just a little more hard to like find the like proper amount of time to like set a time, which like I guess in reality, I think the problem is that sometimes I struggle starting a task when there's like a lot of little things that you have to do in preparation. Oh, I thought for sure I was going to get jump scared. I thought for sure I did not shut the mask fast enough. Lucky for me, I did. And then Bonnie right after. But yeah. Um, there's a lot of little tasks. I find it hard. So I think that's why I really struggle, because yeah, I'm literally going to sit here for the next, well, probably not that much longer, but I will have sat here for almost 40 minutes, just, you know, chilling some. In reality, it's not that big of a deal, but in my brain, I'm like, oh, it's so taunting. Oh my gosh, we are so close, besties. 5 a.m. This was like the longest 5 a.m. of my entire life, and on night 5, the 4 a.m. Oh my gosh, the 4 a.m. was taking forever. I just kept thinking like, please, 5 a.m., 5 a.m., 5 a.m. Oh, here we go, 6 a.m. We did it, boys. Night, uh, night five, but first we have to like play, um, what's that game? When you like, I don't really think it's a game, but you know when like those like boys in the hallway at school where like, they try to like geek you out, which I think is a Canadian slang. Um, it's like Duke, I guess. They try to like duke you out, where like um, you go to like one side and then they go to that side, and then you go to the other side and they go on that side. You know those types of boys that like do that. Yeah. Anyways, we're playing that game with the marionette doll. <sighs> so stressful. Night five. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm 
I'm so like invested in the gameplay right now. You know, very early on. Oh, oh okay, 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 let's see. Mm. It's very exciting though. I mean, like I already know. But I have not played in months, and I'm not the best, you know? Um, man. I really like Pizza Simulator. I wish they had a Pizza Simulator that was just the Pizza Simulator. Like, I think it'd be really fun if they had, like, a Papa's Pizzeria, like, Diner Dash type style game for FNAF. And you had to, like, build up all, like, the characters on the stage without any of the horror. How fun would that be? I just think it would, like, take FNAF and, like, hmm. I want to say make it more reachable. Does that make sense? Like, sometimes I'm just not in a horror kind of mood. My throat just made a funny noise. Anyways, I really hope that caught on, caught on the, like, microphone, because that was a really weird noise my throat just made. Um, I ate applesauce before this, and I think my stomach is digesting it. How fun is that? It, it takes like 24 hours for your food to digest, though. That's insane. I guess you're long, your long intestine. Is that what it's called? Your big intestine? Your small? I think it's small and big. Anyways, it's very long. It's <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I'm laughing. It takes a long time, I guess. Another fun fact about your digestive system, your pee doesn't like go in your stomach and then like go through your intestines, which makes sense because then it would be like blocked by your feces. <laughs> Sorry. It would like, you know, you'd like poop and, oh my god. I don't even know. I just. <laughs> okay. Anyways. I guess I have the humor of like a 12 year old boy. But. What it happens instead is it like goes inside your blood system and then it gets filtered out. Which makes so much more sense. Like obviously that's how it happens, but it never clicked in my brain. That's so creepy. Anything you drink is going through your blood. Hello, that's terrifying. It makes me not want to eat or drink like sodas because I don't want the fizzy. I mean, I know the fizzy wouldn't, but like still, you know? Um, my friends have been telling me recently that I have a sugar intolerance, which might make sense, but I figured everyone got a little tummy ache, well, actually a big tummy ache, and a migraine, and fatigue after they ate sugar. Like, I figured that was a thing that everyone went through, you know? Like, there's, like, sugar highs, you know, and then you have, to, like, the, the butt, like, the low or whatever, like a... What's that called? Like, not sugar burnout. A sugar crush. No, sugar... Is it that's what it is? Sugar crush? <laughs> I know it's not sugar crush. Sugar... Oh my god, I can't... It does not matter. Um, you know that word, like... Yeah, you like, fall, I guess. Um, I forget that's just like, was a normal thing. And then you just like, get stomach pain, and you get a migraine and you get sleepy. I thought that's like what everyone went through. I think most people go through this sleepy thing. I think that's normal. But I guess the stomach pains and the migraines aren't. So I might have an intolerance to sugar. I don't really want to think about it too much though. How do you not eat sugar? Sugar is in everything. It's in bread. I love bread. I live off of bread. I eat bread every day of my life. How am I supposed to not eat bread? Anyways, but my friend had a sugar intolerance, so they were talking to me about it, and they were like, it's not that hard, you just, like, you can consume a little bit, um, but you, like, are probably already, like, um, you probably already have so much sugar in your system, um, like, just constantly, so cutting out little things can, like, help, I guess, which, maybe I have to cut out, like, soda, or, I don't know why I said soda, I'm Canadian, eh? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll cut out like pop and stuff like that. 
try and help because oh my god even if i eat like a bowl of cereal like after eating a bowl of cereal i feel so sick it's not even funny like my stomach hurts so much and i just get such a bad headache i can't eat cereal and it sucks because cereal is so good and it's so easy like i hate cooking i absolutely hate it i cook to eat that's like the only reason why i cook i cook to like consume food i love eat like i love food i love eating i love food i love comfort food i love bread and pizza and i just love food but i just don't like cooking and i am a vegan or plant-based so that makes life even more difficult but yeah there's like eating a bowl of cereal is just so easy but perhaps you know Perhaps I, I just simply will have to live without. Oh my gosh, what a hard, terrible life I live. <laughs> um, let me see here. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Things are getting pretty stressful. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did it. That's insane to me. Yay, we finished all, uh, all five nights at Freddy's too. Thank you for watching and I hope we will see you next time.